Justin Warmoth is back with us on this uh, Saturday evening. And, of course, college football season is over. That's kind of depressing a little bit, right? It is. And bit. for Gator fans, it's a good thing. But they got something to, you know, Gator fans certainly have something to talk about now, at no least, right? It. Basketball. Yeah. Basketball. Okay. 10th ranked Gators travel to Arkansas today, trying to get their second conference win of the season. But the Razorbacks were riding a 23 game home winning streak, and the Gators were without their leading scorer, Casey Prather. The senior was out with a bone bruise in his right knee. Pick up highlights in the second half. Arkansas's Rashad Madden drills a triple from deep, putting the Razorbacks up five with just seven minutes to go in the game. Gators were down two with seconds to play, but Scotty Wilbekin uses the glass to tie it up at 66, and we're going to overtime. In overtime, it's that Wilbekin guy again, the senior. Intercepts the pass and turns the Arkansas turnover into points, knocking down three of his 18 with that tray. And the Gators will go on to end Arkansas's 23-game home winning streak, 84-82. to Alex Rodriguez won't be back anytime soon, but he will be eligible to return to the field a little bit earlier than Major League Baseball intended. Independent arbitrator Frederick Horowitz announced today that Rodriguez's suspension was cut from 211 games to 162 plus the 2014 postseason if the Yankees should qualify. Commissioner Bud Selig suspended the three-time American League MVP after his involvement with Biogenesis, a closed anti-aging clinic in Miami, accused of dispensing performance-enhancing drugs to several players. The ruling cost A-Rod 25 of the $86 million left on his contract. Race fans have made their way back to Daytona this week, preparing for the NASCAR season and the 56th running of the Daytona 500. They call it preseason thunder, and it's NASCAR's version of spring training. The five-day glorified autograph session began Thursday at Daytona International Speedway. Drivers have been testing out the two and a half mile super speedway, getting ready for the season and the 56th running of the Daytona 500, which is scheduled for February 23rd. And although we've had some wet weather, drivers have still been able to get back into the swing of things. But it's, it's great to be back. I mean, there's no other sensation, uh, it, you know, when you come into a racetrack like there is here. So driving through the tunnel and popping out in turn four and, and looking around and realizing you're here is always a, uh, you know, a great way to start the season. Great. On to the hardwood, the Magic continued their West Road trip last night in Sacramento, and it was all Kings. Rudy Gay and the Kings were looking to give their Magic their 26th loss of the year early on. Check this out. Aaron Afalo drives to the hole, but it's Rudy Gay. Look at this block. Delivers a huge block, smacks off the glass. Take a look again. That's, a, that's impressive. That guy can jump. Jump ahead of the fourth quarter. Magic down 20, and Demarcus Cousins with a steal. Finds Derek Williams with the no-look dish. Magic would drop to 10-26 on the year with a 103-83 loss. And tonight, the Magic hope to salvage the road trip with a win in Denver. NFL playoffs right here on Local 6. It all starts with the Broncos and Chargers at 440 tomorrow. I like the Chargers. Wow. Yeah. Justin Warmoth on record saying he likes the upset special in the National Football League playoffs. The Broncos had a bye week, and uh, you really like this pick? I love it. Phillip Rivers, you got to ride the hot hand. I know Peyton had a great season. Hmm. It ends. And tonight, right here on Local 6, 815 kickoff, Patriots hosting the Colts, and you say what? Patriots. Tom Brady, you can't pick against Tom Brady for one. Wet weather, 20s with rain, Tom Brady. I'm calling you out if the Chargers do not win tomorrow. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. You're back tonight at 11 o'clock. Yeah. I'm going to call him out Monday when he's back here at 6 o'clock. Thank you, Justin. Much, much more news for you coming your way right after this on Local 6.